So welcome to my talk. Uh, my name is Dirk Riedler. I'm a professor of computer science in Germany at a German university. And my goal is to show you that it's not hard to have a startup, maybe an open source uh, startup, um, if you know how to use the academic system. Uh, along the way, but not necessarily so, you can get a PhD uh, that can, but must not go hand, can, doesn't have to go hand in hand. So why? Well, so some of you may remember this fabulous South Park cartoon where there's something you love to do. These are the gnomes, uh, something you love to do, like perform research or solve challenging technical problems, but you also want to make money, meaning there's a profit and you want to earn a living. So the challenge is, how do you go from something you have passion for to, well, well having a profit, I say earning your living. And the idea is here that if you were to get a position at a German university, uh, the setup is such that you can fairly easily, in my book, um, use that uh, to develop software that can feed into a startup. And it's actually quite comfortable. So, so part of my story here is it does not have to be painful. You don't have to be suffer. You, you don't have to suffer. You don't have to only have two meals a day or something. Because, um, at least in Germany, uh, you can get a fully salaried position at the university. Most computer science professors have plenty of positions available. And that is fully salaried at 50K a year. So that's not a stipend. That's a real salary. Um, you get to experience university life, but you have a project that you get employed on where you can both own your skills, or develop open source software if you choose the right professor, where then, because it's open source software, maybe you will find users, maybe you understand needs of users, maybe ultimately you can turn this initial open source software over time into something for a startup. There's a lot more here to say than my five minutes will let me do, but you can build out a startup team. There will be other people like you, like-minded. And in parallel, but again, you don't have to, but you can if you want to, um, follow, uh, say, a design science approach, which is a particular way of also performing research on top of that software you're developing. Well, along the way, you identify a problem, you find solutions for that problem, you find a way of uh, uh, evaluating that and write a dissertation, which is the requirement uh, for that title, if you are after the title. The way it works at a university is very much like an open source, even if for whatever reason, your professor doesn't let you develop open source software, the style of collaboration is like it is like, is like uh, in open source because most of the time a research associate called uh, Wissenschaftlicher Mitarbeiter, Wissenschaftliche Mitarbeiter in, in German, um, will be an architect or a main developer of a system, but work with master students. So they are the quality assurance, the code integrators. So they delegate work, they get work from students, they are responsible for the architecture. They are the committers of an open source project, even if it's not even open source they were developing. At the same time, well, so being a PhD student, that's the other aspect of being at a university. If you want to do research, can be a lot of fun. So usually people join me or I'm able to hire people because they want to get a PhD. And that can mean academic conferences in faraway places with a lot of fun. But at some point of time where you have done all your development work and you have written a few research papers and written your dissertation, you will have to spin off your work into a software startup. And here, um, that is my particular, particular expertise, I can help you turn that into a commercial open source software startup. Um, I won't go into details given my five minutes, but I will. you will have to find that team, help build that team, or maybe you're joining a team 
go through what makes a startup, which is understanding your customers and defining what it is they need and getting the funding to turn the software from the university, which may already be really far into a real product. There's a lot of funding in Germany. So even after you got your PhD and leave university with a startup, you don't have to either earn money right away from your product or have a venture capitalist uh, take half your company. No, there's a lot of public funding to keep you going. So you get to keep uh, the intellectual, so you get to keep your equity. It remains much longer than say in the Silicon Valley. It remains your company and meaning your values count. And it's again, your company. These are just examples of way of getting money and it feeds teams of three, four, five people uh, for a year or and a half, and then you can chain these. So what the startup actually eventually does, how it's structured, how aggressive it is, how profit oriented, how socially oriented, that's up to you. But again, my message here is find a professor. Uh, that professor has uh, the means to channel the funds to you, the public grants, because at least the country of Germany really wants you to start those open source software, to start those so startups. But then in my book, open source software startups, because that's the perfect way of how you do it from a university. Here's my contact information. I see something about slides uh, coming along. Um, my slides are available on my website here. So go to dirkriele.com. Um, and there's also a course on commercial open source software startups. So.